Hey, good morning from Seattle. It's Kelly Snow. And today we're going to do some paper folding. But let me get logged on so I can watch and answer comments. And then we'll get going. There. Hi, Steph. Hi, Irene. Okay, paper folding today. So, I have this plastic thing that kind of holds, like, the last few bits of this and the last few bits of that. And I just keep throwing it in here and throwing it in here, right? So... It's getting full, and so that's what I do. I just, whatever's bothering me in my stash or getting too full or whatever is going on, I always, um, you know, make something out of it then, and that's how I decide what I'm going to do. Everybody always asks me, how do you know what you're going to do? And I just, that's how I know. So, I'm just saying that. The other way I know how what to do is... I have my stash here, and when I'm down to my last little bits of something, because I make everything ahead, then I know it's time to make, make it again. So I have all these different ways that I use uh, this paper, and I fold it up all in a bunch of different fun ways. You remember when you were high school, and you used to fold all these fun letters, remember, and send them out to your friends, and... So we have the fern letter fold, and I don't know what some of this is. One of them I made up. This one you pull down. Remember? Remember these? Hey, Jude. So we're going to just fold some different papers today, and then I'm going to show you um, how to do those 12 by 12 things that you guys like. Um, let's see. I don't know if I can find them right now, but anyways, I'll just make one. And we're going to wrap around ephemera. We're going to make some envelopes. We're just going to go through some of this paper. Okay, so. So, this is kind of fun. I usually just do it out of a book page. It kind of works out good, but we'll try it. We'll try all this. Some of it I can't remember how to do because it's been a year since I've done it. So, so. We'll just take them one at a time. The fern letter is pretty fun. I like how it looks and it's flat. And you're just tucking. You're just tucking that in right there, see? <clears throat> so it's kind of fun. So. Let's just do that. If I can remember how to do it now, that's the trick. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use this paper. Somebody just gave it to me. A pile of it. And it's, look at that. So it's got to be folded up or something. And I did not coffee stain it. I probably should have instead of doing the ink. Because I think this would coffee stain pretty good. It's from the paper studio. I love it. But I think I'll just ink it, I guess. Right? Alright. So the first thing to get the fern letter... I can't remember now because I haven't done it so long on how to get the print on the outside or the inside. But we'll learn here together, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing you do is fold it in half so you got your center. I think it's this way. Let me look. Yes, it is. Okay, so you got your center. And then you fold your two sides into the center where your line is. Right? And then you fold down these two to the center. And then we'll fold the bottom up. Now these two corners, you just do little ones. You just pull them up a little bit like this. Right? And just pull it up a little bit like this. 
just make sure they're kind of, you know, even. That's how I do it. And then your flap is going to tuck in right here. But I want to fold it first so it's easy to do. So let's fold this part. Fold it so it kind of goes in easy. And then when I ink this all up and stuff, it'll look good. But I think I should have coffee stained it, but I didn't. Oh, well. <clears throat> All right. So now when we fold this up, see, it tucks right in. And I think this only tucks as far as you want it to tuck. You can just gauge how far you want to do it. But I only just like to just have it in there. And I'll do this again because I want a few of these. There, now this tucks right inside there. All right? Look. Isn't that cool? Now, when you ink it and stuff, and you'll get your defined edges, which I want to, just one, just so I can see. I should have coffee stained it. I don't know what I was thinking. I actually didn't know what I was going to do this morning until I knew I had some idea, but... This one's pretty dry, so and it's really old. <laughs> it's so beat up and ratty. But well, for whatever reason, I keep using the dang thing. I don't know why. This is the first one I bought when I first started. That's how old it is and how much I've used it. <laughs> this is from the very first one I ever bought. I guess it's nostalgic now and I want to keep it. <laughs> but... You get the idea once you get all these edges done. The contrast is there, you know. There. And I'll do it one more time or a couple more times so you can see. There, see? Now you can tuck these in and it's just a cute way of having another pretty folded piece, you know. And you could decorate it up if you want, you know, whatever. But I do my base work and then I throw it in and then I, you know... Throw it in my box that I have going on for the year for my folded stuff. And then I decorate it according to, you know, the page when I get it. <coughs> when I figure out, you know, which page I want to put it on. So, I just put it in the box. I don't have the box right here, though. Here it is. Here it is. I just keep little box of... All my stuff that I make, like we make these wallet books. These will be next because I'm out of these. This will be my last one. So we'll be making these again. You know, I got all these little things I make. So anyways, and it's a new year, you know, and I was cleaning and all this. So now I'm going through. And once I get on a kick, that's what I do. So I just did my clips. <laughs> now I'm going to do my paper folds because I'm making these dang stash books. All right. So let's do that one more time. Ready? So, hi Linda. We're folding paper for pocket stuffies. So I'm showing you guys how to use your random last sheets of paper, right? That you got laying around, or maybe some that, you know, this is uh, kind of fun to do with paper that maybe isn't your favorite too. Because, you know, you don't see a lot of it. It's all folded up and then you decorate over it, you know, this and that. And so a lot of times I use, uh, you know, all my last sheets of paper. Just fold them up. That way. See, you're not seeing much of it. I like this paper, but I'm just saying... I find myself a lot of times doing this to paper I don't necessarily like a lot, you know. Okay, now this one. This one we do the little corners, remember? Just flip up the little corners because you're just making a little spot for your envelope to go in right here. And then you got to figure out which way to how high up you want to go. I'm going to go right here. See? Um, 
I'm struggling here and I got this nice bone folder. Nice. And then your little thing goes just right inside here. Like this. And um here. See? How cool is that? I like these. You know? And I'll do it to a few different sheets of paper here so that I have a few different kinds. Uh, if I have any more of that size, let's look. Let's see what we got here. Not sure. Ooh, this one's pretty. Look at that. I've been saving it because it's so pretty, you know? And it's got the forget-me-nots on the side. Oh, I love this one. So, I'm not using that because I'm saving it. <laughs> but... I'll show you what I am using. All right. We'll get back to it if I find another sheet that's the same size. Because I have a lot of these. So I'm going to do a couple different things with them. We'll do it one more time. Just so I have three. Okay, so fold it in half. It's a fern letter. Fold it in half. Bring your halves in again. I got a whole bunch of different kinds here to do, so. And then bring your two points down. two little corners and then figure out where you want to do it right there there and then tuck it in so now all I'll have to do is ink and decorate but the folding will be all done see cute I like these Okay, and then let's see we got this one. Let's try this one. I totally forget how to do this one. Remember these when you were in high school, Linda? Oh my god, are we gonna remember how to do this? <laughs> oh boy. Lots of steps to this one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So first, looks like, I guess, we just do this. I guess we need a center point. So let's just fold it the long ways. Okay. Then open it back up. And you're going to do the, it's always the sailboat. Always the sailboats on both sides. This one I didn't quite get right. There we go. So do your sailboats on both sides. Hi, Shirley. We're folding paper today. I have so much extra sheets of paper that I either like or don't like, or that are just the last sheets, you know, in your stash. And so I just spend some time folding them in different ways. I think this goes right to the line. Ah, not quite. So this part you fold up, but not quite to the center. It looks like to me. I'm not quite sure if that paper was just too short or what, but we'll see. Yep, the gang's all here. <laughs> all right, and we'll uh, do it like this. We'll just see. I'm not sure if this should be closed right here, but I haven't done this in a while, so let's just see how it goes, okay? Okay, so now that you have it like this, then you fold this down, and I'm again, I'm not quite sure if it looks like it just wants to be folded perfectly right here. See, it folds in like this. 
And you do the same thing to this side, fold it in. Now, this is the part. Let me get my bone folder. Hi, Vicki. We're folding papers back like when we were in high school. You remember how you used to write notes to your girlfriends and your boyfriends and fold them all these cool ways? Well, I've been doing this for a while. and um... Okay, so now this is a part. I've been doing this for a while and I just think it's fun. Okay, so this will be one of the flaps. So this flap then, you want to fold it this way. So we'll turn it over and fold it this way. And you got to leave a little bit here. A little bit of a space. I think. Unless this is a weird shape, but that's what we did with this one. And we folded it back. And then, see, I don't know. I think I might have to fold it exactly on because this looks short. So I'll pull it down some. Okay. Okay. Yeah, look, it's different size. I don't know if it's going to exactly turn out right. This is just a regular sheet of paper, and I thought this was too but for some reason it's coming out shorter. Eight and a half by 11, huh? Isn't that strange? So we'll just see. So this part folds back. Oh, and that part folds back. Okay, so this part folds back. And then we do the same thing to this. And this part folds back. Oh, I see, and it tucks right in. Oh, that was easy. All right, so they both fold back. And then this part you take and tuck in this. So you go like this, tuck it in, tuck it in. I'll do this again because I know that was crazy. There. And now you got your little, your little note and you got to pull it to, pull it to get it out. It's pretty cool, right? I like it. And then, depending what kind of paper you use, you know, this is kind of thick paper, so it's, like, unruly. But it's kind of fun, so let's do it again. This is just regular paper, so it goes in and out a lot easier. Ooh, that's neat. All right, let's do this again. All right, so this time we're folding the long way to find the center. Try it again. And then move this sailboat. Sailboat, sailboat. On both sides. Now I know this is like relatively boring. Hence why I turned on the video camera. <laughs> but it's something that uses up your papers, <coughs> right? I think I'm going to fold this to the line this time. It uses up your papers and then... You got these cute little stuffies, you know. And it's really fun because, like, inside this one... I mean, not that you want to, but confetti or something inside here would fit and not fall out. You know what I mean? Like, die cuts or something... You know what I mean? Okay, and then we do these, and they fit fold right in real nice because you made a little spot for them, see? See? Made a little spot for your envelope, little flap there, and we'll do it again. All right. And I don't know, I folded it perfectly, but 
it just comes out candy wampus. I really think this paper is crooked or something because I got a big space right here on this side and it shouldn't be. It should be, it should be perfect. But sometimes they just don't end up like that. So whatever, you know. Anyway, both of the sides fold back. Both of them fold backwards now. And this one you fold backwards. And then you tuck the one into the other. I'm going to put something down so we don't get this noise on the glass. Just one sec. Nice. See? And then uh, when I was a kid, we used to put pull right there, you know, or put a string or put something there so they know to pull it. Because if you get this, you'd be like, how the heck do we, you know, what do we do? So I don't know what this one's called, but it's fun to do. And I want to do it one more time because I know that was crazy. But I'm going to get some this so it doesn't make us crazy with the sound. And then we'll move on to another another one. Caddy Wampus? Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know what else to say about it. How else to explain it, you know? It's just crooked or something. Okay, this is a fern letter. I showed you that already. Let's do it one more time. All right, let's do it one more time. So, folding it the long ways. All right. Sailboat. Because look, because look, I put it right here to the edge, right to the flap, and then when I, it's not straight up here, so I have to go straight from the top. This is a weird sheet of paper. I'm telling you, it's cut crooked. I am telling you. It is, because look, this side don't even match up. And I did it perfect. Dang. And for like origami and stuff, you really have to do it perfect. So if your paper's not cut straight, it sucks. But for us, it's completely fine. Okay, you got your sailboats. Now you do your sides, remember? And then we're going to do, uh, we got a bunch of different kinds. If you feel like sitting through it, you know, or at least now you know it's here for when you want to do it. You can always come back, you know, and refer to it when you, when you need it, you know. So now we'll fold our little flaps in. Oh, is it common in Minnesota? Oh. <laughs> okay, it's a Minnesota thing then. Shirley says. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to have anything ready for our admin sale, you guys. Modern admin sale. I am just backed up right now with stuff on to-do list. You know what I mean? I have so much stuff to do right now. My license is expired. I have to do my taxes. Like I've, I got to get these two stash books done that I got started. And then my kids coming to visit for four days and just all this, like, I just can't. So we'll just see if I even get anything done. <laughs> I'll have something done. I just don't know what it's going to be yet. Okay. So fold that back and then turn it over and fold this one back. And then you just tuck one into the other and you got it. I just had too much going on right now. Then I was cleaning out my entire kitchen to get rid of all the sugar and flour, right? So I had to do that. And then we shopped for like three days. <laughs> Trying to fill my kitchen with stuff I can eat now. Nice. See? Cute. Like I say, put your little pull tab sign there or something right there so they know to pull. Cute, right? 
Okay. Next one is this. This one's kind of fun. This one has a little tucky thing right here on the side, see? So this one's kind of neat, especially if it's, you know, whatever. And this one's relatively easy, too. Let's look at this one. All right. So, first we fold it in half. <clears throat> okay, first we fold it in half. Right? Let's see. Yeah, because we need a line, but we don't necessarily leave it there. Okay, so fold it in half, open it back up, and then you take this whole corner and just bring it all the way down like this. Just bring the whole corner all the way down. We only folded it just so you have a center marker there. Okay. Now we're going to use the center marker and fold this over. Okay. There. Now this is the cool part. You just um I don't know how exactly we measure, but you just go like this and like this, right? And then this folds over and tucks in the side. But this paper is not the same size as this, so it, I don't know if it's exactly going to turn out right. I'm going to try it this way and see if it will. No, it wants me to fold it backwards. Okay. All right, so the side that you fold it over. Okay, so fold it in half like this. Then you fold it down like this. Then you fold it over. And it looks like you have to fold it over then. And then you fold it up. But look how wide that, look at the difference. I should be folding it way up here. I guess I could, I'll fold it way up there. Just see how this works now. I guess it folds right up to the corner, I guess. That just seems really weird. Look how wide it is compared to the other. So you fold it right up to the corner, pull it right up to the corner. That's why it didn't look right. There, I was folding it too short. And then just pull this down. And then you got this little corner left. And it's supposed to tuck in. But this ain't the same size as my other one, so it doesn't tuck. So that's really stupid. Well, it might tuck right here. Man, it tucks right there. Jeez, barely. <laughs> barely. After all that. But a normal piece of paper looks different. But it has this little tiny spot right there where I can tuck this in. Like this. So that's actually cool. I do like this. Because look, you could even slip something right here. Right? Or right here too. And then it tucks right here. Look. See? And unfolds. That's cool. Let's do it again. We'll do it again. All right, so. All right, so. Yeah, secret notes. That's what we were doing. That's what we're doing, all the secret notes. Okay, so this one we go like this, and then open it back up and fold all the way down. Yep, it's fun to do the secret notes. So I do them all up, do some all my odd pages that I got laying around. I just do all my folding. Okay, then you fold this. This is an easy one, right? Then you flip it over and you fold the bottom up to your corner. Right here. Sheesh, I say it's an easy one and then I can't get it. <laughs> then I can't get it. 
But you know, it's nice to um, make up all the stuffies. You know, that's how I like to do it. I like to make everything up ahead. Because I make a lot of books, so. Okay, and then you fold this part down. And then there's your little pointer. Right? And then fold it. And then it tucks right there in that little spot. I like this one actually because because it's got a lot of uses. You can just do that with it, but I like it because then you got pockets on both sides and this side too. You know what I mean? It's just neat. I like that one. I want to do that one again. It's my last sheet of paper, so let's just do it up. Okay, fold it in half. And then fold it all the way down. And then we'll flop this over. Flip it over. Meet this to your corner. This part's hard with this paper. It's thick paper. There. And now fold this down, and here's your pointer. There you go. And now it'll tuck right in your little spot here. That is cute. I love it. Cute. Okay, now this, what the heck? I was saving this. Somebody sent it to me. I'm saving these. Put it somewhere. Okay, then this one, what is this one? Oh. That's just a basic sheet of paper. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, these are just sheets of paper. Oh yeah, scraps. Just a scrap. I like this one too. And I put a little die cut flower and a little button and stamps. This one I like too, because it's a banner that you can tuck and tuck. I make these a lot. But the other one I was looking for. Hmm. I got the other one I was looking for. Well, I'll see if I can remember how to do it. All right, so for these 12 by 12s, those are different. Uh... I like to do a couple of different things with these. Again, I forgot to coffee stain. Some of them I have coffee stained, but some of them I didn't. So for, let's see, what should we do? I guess, well, we could, this one I kind of wanted to make an envelope out of, but it's so big. But, I'm not sure if I can do it out of this because it's huge. All right, so we'll just try it just for fun. So I like to use whole 12 by 12 sheets instead of having to cut it down and blah, blah, blah. So I always try to come up with different ideas to fold to make different things out of the 12 by 12. And so um, sometimes you can just make your own envelope. So 
if you have a piece of ephemera or something that you want to use, you just fold your paper around it. And half the time, that's how you come up with the funnest foldy ways. Now, I'm not doing this all the way up perfectly right up to the edge because it's not going to be cool that way. you got to pull it down some. And then this will be your envelope flap, see? And then... <clears throat> sometimes this works out and sometimes it doesn't. This is really small. So we're going to end up with a lot of extra. Extra, but it's kind of fun because then you can make extra like little pockets and stuff that you wouldn't normally have. So you just fold it around what you're doing. See? And then sometimes, I've done this before, look, you've almost made a double-sided envelope. If we wanted to fold this in now, your signatures, you could. And then you could, you see what I'm saying? And then put your closure here and you'd be sewing here is what I'm saying, right? So you could do this with it. That's one thing. See? Okay. Or then, you if you just want to make an envelope, I have myself just simply just cut this right here. And sometimes I glue it. Sometimes I sew around it. Then I have two envelopes. See, I made out of one if I want to cut it. And then I just stitch, like I said, or glue whatever so you get two envelopes out of one 12 by 12 sheet see or sometimes i play around and i do it backwards so i'll i'll do this right and then you'll have an, a two you could still if we sew it around this you could still put this in a pocket somewhere. It would just be a double envelope. But you could, we could put, you could even sew little papers in here, you know, and have an envelope on this side and an envelope on this side and have a little journal spot there. Or if you did it the other way and had it on the inside, do this on the inside. See, you can decorate this up or leave it whatever. You open it up. And you could have your two envelopes and you could have paper in here if you wanted to make a little journal out of it or something. If this was, you know, cardboard or, you know, you could do all your pages like this and have, you know, three or four of these in a row, which would be neat for like storage or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So 12 by 12 sheets are kind of fun this way. Okay. And then the other way was, um, I forget now, it goes like this. Um, I, if I can find one, let me find one. That's always the thing, you gotta find it. <laughs> to remind yourself, you know. Oh, here it is, these. These are fun, they go in the you sew them in or not. You know, you can just leave them free too. And these are also 12 by 12 sheets. And they are like this. So you can slide. You can slide your stuff in here on this way. If this was sewn in. Right? So you got a long spot. You can put long stuff. And then on the other side, you got little little pockets. My mom makes these all the time. I showed her how and now she makes them in all, a lot of her books too. But I think sometimes we forget. So both sides and you know sometimes we forget. So so basically we're just folding in the corners on themselves basically. But I can't remember if it's this way. 
I think it's this way. So if you fold in both your corners, one on this side like this, and then you flip it over and do your other corners, I think this is how it goes. It's relatively simple. And you meet your corners. There you go. That's it, and you fold it down the middle. Okay. There it is, so now, you, well, sometimes, like, mom, she'll glue hers, so she, you know, it stays down. But you could put your glue there, and you got your little pockets on this side, and then she puts a tab of glue right here, and then you got your slider for this side, right? So it slides in it like that, and you can sew them in, or just leave them for, you know, whatever, stuffies or whatever. So let's do another one of those, if I can find... This is bugging me. If I can find another sheet. And here's my thing that I just put all my extras in. My ones I'm either saving or just ones I want to get rid of. Or like here's, this is the last one in my thing, you know. All right, so this one, it's white on the inside. So we just... Do your two corners. I mean, if you want to fold it long ways, you know, like this, so that you have a mark, you can. I mean, I don't always, but sometimes it doesn't fold exactly right either, if you don't. But even if you just pinch it a little bit, you know, right here, there. And then it gives you a center line, because otherwise sometimes you get kind of messed up. Right, and then flip it over <coughs> and do the same on this side. And then fold it. I like these actually. It's kind of fun. You could see though, if you don't get it exact, what happens. But I did, and look, the paper is not even the same. Look, it's so off. It's not even funny. I think sometimes when we go buy those sh single sheets, they're not even cut square. I swear to God. I mean, look at this. It's amazing how. Not square it is. <laughs> so there we go. We got the two. Well, I, like I said, I didn't glue it. But you can slide your pieces up there. And then you got your little pockets right here. You know, or either way, you can do it inside out too. However you want to do it. Kind of fun. So we got those. And then another thing I like to do is. These are with scraps. So I don't have to show you that. And this is just, I wonder if this is a full sheet. Let's look for another one here. Let's see what else we got. I got this and this. We could use both of these. Another one of these. So this is basically, but this is a 12 by 12, so that's not going to work. I wonder if it'll work with this. We could try it with this. Just to see. But I'm not sure. One second here. Let me unstaple it. I'm not sure because it's not the right shape. Anyways. All right, so for these, well, I guess I don't know if I'm going to do this then because it's not the right shape. That is for the other shape. Shoot. 
see if I can find the other shape before we get into these again. Um, no. I guess these are all 12 by 12s. Oh, okay. Ooh, there's some pretty ones. Oh, here's one, but it's 4th of July. I don't want that. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, pretty. Here's some scraps. All right. All right, skip that then. I guess we ain't going to do that. But we could try it with... We could just try it and see. I was going to try to make a regular old envelope out of this, but that ain't working out. I'll show you guys these later. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is this. Take some of your either card stocky ish you know, the thicker stuff. Oh, I did make one, an envelope out of this. But you guys know how to do that. You just fold the flaps. Fold the flap, fold the flap, like this. And then you glue your gussets. It's gusseted that way. You know, you've seen that done before. Okay, so for these, I'll show you what I do with these. These, I gotta cut in half. Ooh, dang, both sides are great. Ooh, that one's killing me. I'll put this side. So, I want to cut this in half. So, let me find my scissors. Here they are. Okay, so, 12 by 12s. We're going to do uh, matchbooks. You ever made matchbooks out of the 12 by 12s? It's super easy. And I usually, let's see, I usually just cut it in half, but this looks a little fat. Let's try it. I don't know, maybe I shaved it off. Maybe it was in thirds. Maybe it was in thirds. Now that I'm looking. Maybe it was in thirds. I'm trying to see. Here's my matchbook. No, it was pretty wide. I wonder why that one is so, I think it is thirds. Okay. All right, so thirds, it looks like this. Let's see, this one, we could just wing it, it's okay. I don't need to be super exact, I'm not too anal. I mean, I am, but I'm not, you know. If some of them are skinnier and some of them are fatter, I mean, well, it's still cool. Okay, so cut it in thirds, and then you're gonna make three matchbooks. These ones are gonna be way fatter. <laughs> Then that one, dang it, let me see how it turns out. I kind of wanted them to be all the same, but oh well. Ah, it looks pretty okay. This one could have been one more square wider. <laughs> so, if I had a ruler, I would measure it for you. I should have one right on here, don't I? Here it is. So, if you cut yours about four and a quarter, four and a quarter will give you equal, I think, about equal amounts. Because it's a 12 by 12, four, four, but I did this four and it didn't quite work out. This one's four. I know this one's going to be bigger. Oh, just a smidge though. I guess we just do fours, but yeah, these are a smidge bigger. Oh, well, anyways, around four inches for each. All right, so you know what a matchbook looks like, basically, right? The only thing is, is you can either be fussy or you cannot be fussy. To be fussy would mean that you get out your scoreboard or use your fingers and make a little, you know how the matchbooks have a square top right here? You know what I'm saying? Most matchbooks have this square top right here. You get it? So, we could either make the square top so it's like that. Or, you can just bend it over like a normal human and put it in. Since it's going to be squished in a book anyways... It's probably going to get squished anyways. 
So I just do mine flat. So I spend some time distressing this part and then you just flip up the bottom. And then we gotta distress some paper to put on the inside. And you staple right here and push it in like a little matchbook. And then you got three little matchbooks. See? Three little matchbooks. So that's what we'll do. Okay. So first, let's just get some, some, you know, it needs something. So black soot will give us some, and now look, and I could even do a couple this way, right? That'd be neat too, right? So let's just make a couple, a couple marks. Okay. And then let's make a couple more marks with this. Yes, to be fussy or not to be fussy. <laughs> that is always the question. Personally, I love vintage photo on turquoise and green. It is just my thing. I love it so much. Look how awesome that looks. <laughs> I love it. And then I'm going to spend a little more time on this. I'm going to do one more thing to it. I'm going to put some either, you know, gilding on it. Some kind of shimmer, you know. But I'll just do one to show you. I'll just do one. I don't want to get the video too long. I don't know how long it's been going already. Okay, so let's see. Should we do contrasting color polish or the same? I still need to get some green. I don't have green still. So let's see. How about we do some... Well, I have all my stuff hung up. Now I can't see. Let's do some... Well, let's see. I was going to get my Hugo because I like that. Kind of the same color. I was thinking we could put some Nouveau on it. It's the same color, though, kind of, but it would be cool, right? I like it. And then <coughs> we could do a contrast. So we'll do some copper first. All right, you know how I like to do my distressing. Ooh, this one's probably too dark. I didn't know it was this color. What is this? I said copper, and it is copper. Oh, God, I didn't want copper. Oh, well, let's do it. It'll look good anyways. I already know, but... So, just real light, because... Just real light, because otherwise... You're going to get too much. And you just want it to look... Ooh, this looks cool. Ooh, yeah. I love it. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Nice. I'm going to get the rest of it before it dries because this stuff dries relatively fast and then you're... And then you're stuck. Nice. Okay. I'm going to do just a doot doot. Just a doot doot. See if I can... If that's enough for this one. Get it on the corners good, on the edges, you know. It doesn't have to be in your face, but around spots that are... And be careful not to get finger marks, because when you push on, you get finger marks. That's why I'm always, you know, doing it weird. Okay, then... Ooh, that looks good. Then for this... How are we going to put this on? Should we stencil? 
it on. That'd be cool. Stencil over the top of this design. Oh, God. Let's see. Let's just see. I just want to for fun. I need a tool, so I'm looking for something. Here's my blenders. All right. And then I need some water. And then I need some, my stencil. Which one am I going to use? I think I just want to use the regular old one that I always use. Well, not always, but. Keep all my stencils on a ring so that you can just get them easy. Let's try this. I, I know it's going to compete with this, but it's okay because it's kind of like swirly anyways. And the ticket with this stuff is, I don't know. It's weird. That's all I know. It says moose on the thing, but this ain't moose. It's like wax. So. It's uh, this embellishment moose, it says, but it ain't moose. And this one is called... I don't know, I guess. Sea spray green. Sea spray. Let's just see. I don't have to put this over the next ones. I just wanna see what it's gonna look like. This brush isn't exactly what I would pick to use but it's just what I have sitting here and what I used before because I didn't have anything sitting here. So now it's got it all over it. So I might as well just use it. And I got it all over the stencil too. This stuff doesn't really like to come off. So. So just be aware of that. Let's just see what this is going to look like real quick. Oh, yes. That is cool. I love. Let's do it again. That looks really cool. And then we'll fold it up. And put some paper in it. And then you fold it up and staple the bottom. And then you got yourself a cute little matchbook. Little matchbook stuffy. You know, and these aren't like the hugest projects. They're just little extras. You know, we do so much, you know, with just a tag. Sometimes it's fun to have just simple little, fun little things to put in there in your pockets too. You know, when you got a whole pocket full of stuff, but you just want one extra little thing, you know. But you can decorate these up real cute and make them, you know, on and on with the embellishing, you know. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. Yep, I do. All right, that is cute. All right, so now for the paper. Um, I try to go through my scraps to see if I have any that, you know, fits know in here um which I know I do so let me just get my scrap pile here this is heavy I gotta move this <coughs> <coughs> all right let me move this okay here's some Here's some. Let's just see. All right, so how we fold it up is, so we just figure out how fat of a bottom you want. And then fold that up.
This is cool. All right, and then you just make sure that this is gonna go in enough to hold it. And then this is where you can decide. You can, I've done it with my finger before, where you make that square top, or you can just fold it, you know, whatever you wanna do. But this is cool, look, how it came together down at the bottom. That's neat. Or you could push it all the way in. I kind of like to leave a little bit. <coughs> Hi, Carrie. This is so cute. Look. Now, you just get your little papers to match. See the size out of some scraps or whatever you got laying around all okay because we're even going to rip it it's not even going to be perfect we're just going to rip 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 now you can distress obviously the inside of the paper to match the outside if you want you could put some turquoise on i could put some lime green on i could do you know whatever the stenciling that's in there and look i got red inside oh boy <laughs> But that's okay too. As long as we got these strips here. So let me get another strip. And then what happens is how I do it is look. I fold it like this. And then it gets down here, see? And then you staple it in. And then this gets folded over, see? And stuck in, see, like this? And then you got your little tablets. Get it? So that's why I'm doing these long strips. So let's do another strip. Usually at least three strips. Because that gives you six little pages. You got to have something in there, you know? So let's just do the little strips. I just lay it in there like that and then fold it over and rip along right here where it's going to rip, you know. And you can use, you know, all your scraps, your magazines, all your stuff because, you know, this is a good way to get rid of some of your pages you got laying around, too, you know. Even if it's just, like, magazine pages and stuff. You know, old books or whatever. See, now when I fold this up, then I'll have four sheets. So I think I'll do... I could even do a short one, I guess. Or a long, skinny one. We could do a long, skinny one. could just cut this where it was already. And put it on the outside. That's kind of neat. And then fold it. That's kind of cool. I almost want one more now with another contrasting. That's kind of neat. I like that. Now I want another sheet of something. <laughs> oh boy, now I want to get my scraps. See what we can find. Look, I brought my scoreboard over to use it for this stupid thing, and I never used it. Never used it yet. I bought one of these. Not one time. I haven't used it yet. Not once. Not once. All right. I just need a long strip of something to fold up right there, because that is cool. So, let me dig. Let me dig and find something. What do I got on the outside? Oh, yeah, the turquoise. Okay, let's see. You know, even if it's this, that would be cool, too, because it's turquoise lines. You know? Even if it was this, that would be neat. So 
have the lines peeking out. I like it. Okay, so then you stick it in like this. And then you staple it. And then you staple it. Yeah, where's my stapler? It's not in my spot where it normally is. So give me a second here. I thought I had it all together. Dang it. Oh, well, it's right here. I'll get it. I have so many staplers. Okay, but just to say, if you want to do any distressing, do it before you staple. Otherwise, it's kind of hard, you know. But this is good enough to me. So, And then put your staple down far so you don't block it with your, for your, you know, tucker. And then you just staple it. And then sometimes your papers are too tall. So sometimes you got to rip them off. So let's just see how mine is. Yeah, mine are too tall. See, so I'm glad I didn't distress. So otherwise, I'd be cutting off all my distressing right now. Yeah, thanks for the thumbs up, you guys. That helps. Okay, there. Look how cute. And now, you know, I can make stencils on here, swirlies, or do something pretty if I want later, you know. Or whatever. I don't have to do it right now. Anyways, so how's that for the day, huh? You gonna go make some? See, now I got all these cute little matchbooks. I'm gonna make some more. I'm gonna make some more and I'm gonna go through. I like these, huh? And then uh, for another 12 by 12 idea. I don't think I have it sitting here either. Well, well, maybe that's enough for one day. Do we do enough paper folding for one day? You think, girls? Have you had enough? Hey, but these matchbooks are really cute. I just want to show you something else. For the matchbooks, the guest check matchbooks are super cute. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. You gotta rip this part off though. Mmm, these are adorable if you do it this way. And this way, I did one, they're so cute. It's a little fat, but it's cute. Right here like this. Oh, that's so cute. I made one. It's just adorable. But anyway. Alright, so. Then we'll fold this up. This is so cute. But I gotta do the stencils on these ones. We gotta do the stenciling first. Before we can there so now we'll have three right and then I like to go back and like ink right here too because right where it folds you know and on the edges here and stuff just as cool I love it I guess I could finally throw this bugger away. I love this one. It's so pretty. And then you decorate it up, you know. When you get to your page that you're going to put it on, that's what I do. I don't decorate them now. I wait. 
wait till I know where I'm going to put it and then I do it up, you know? Love it. Hey, thanks for coming to watch today. If you want to come over to group, I'll be posting some pictures, junk journal junkies, etc. If you have not been there, come on over and hang out with us. We have a good time. Thanks, girls. We'll see y'all later.